Hi and welcome to another Tabless Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at another 96 COE glass project and this is using our landscape lines from 96 and then also our rainbow landscape lines to make this jewellery and some different landscape lines to make this fish. So today I'm going to show you how to make these. So we were doing a little um, jewellery with um, 96 landscape lines. We wanted to make a fish, so we made a bottom out of ice and then we've cut landscape lines um, and sort of mitered the edges to be able to fit together on top of the little um, ice fish shape to be a little fish. So this can be a little fish necklace. Um, so after we can just sort of glue a bale on the back and that'll be a nice little fish necklace. Um, I've also just literally cut with some mosaic nippers, some squares of um, 96, uh, the, the rainbow landscape lambs, I grinded them and then they're going to be able to go in there. And yeah, I know they're a little bit smaller, but I don't mind that. I just think they're kind of pretty and colourful and someone will be happy to buy them. And then we've literally just hand drawn on here um, a fish. And you know, we have a torus or guys, you know, not everyone's going to be able to do this, these particular ones, but I just thought they were such a cute idea to make a couple of little fish out of them um, and so those will also go in. So this will all go in on a tack fuse and it's a really quick and easy little project for anyone to do using our landscape lines. So here are these out of the kiln. Um, I'm Unfortunately our fish went a bit blobby so I'm going to just give it a bit of cold working. I almost quite like it this way up as well where you can kind of see the lines through the glass at the bottom. Um, so I might kind of think about it I'm putting it that way. I'm going to see if I can cold work it and we don't have to fire it again or we'll be putting some other things in a tack fuse so we might put it back in just to um, fire polish it and we can see how it is when it's finished. These I think came out really well. I love the two fishes. Um, I will just put some, I'm going to try and make these into slightly dangly earrings um, and we can glue this into the, uh, the bracelet and then when the fish is done we'll glue them all together and we can see how they look as a set. So I've kind of um, brought in the edges. I, I haven't done it brilliantly. I might try and bring the tail in a bit as well and then she'll go in the kiln. It's a she, I've decided, for a little fire polish and then we can put the set of jewellery together and glue it all in its bales. So here is everything glued to its findings. I think this is a really pretty piece. I love this with the rainbow dots on it. Again, I say I don't mind the fact that they don't fit exactly in the findings. I think there's a great kind of, oh, they must fit, but what's to say how it's supposed to look? Um, so I really like it. I think it's a sort of bright, funky piece. I love the earrings. In Croatia, we have these biscuits that are in the shape of the fish, and we all think that, that they look like really tasty fish biscuits. Um, they don't taste of fish. They just taste of salt. But um, they remind us of those. And then th I think this is cool. It's a fun kind of little fish, and it could be a really nice set. Um, I think this has got great ideas to make um, use landscape lines and then cut different shapes in um, with them. You, know, you could cut an apple shape, or you could cut... Um, you know, the world's your oyster. I'm not going to go on and bore everyone with what shapes you could cut using landscape lines. But I think it's a really pretty idea to get coloured stripes. And it's the sort of, yes, you could use blue uh, lines, but here you get lots of different coloured blues. And it's almost like, um, uh, you know, when you just use stringers and you do lots of little stringers and put them together and you could use that instead. But I quite like our landscape lines because you get thicker and thinner bits. But it gives a bit more kind of texture to it. So I really hope you've liked this video. Um, we have lots of new ways of staying in contact with us. We've got our new Facebook group called Tabitha's Glass Emporium where we hope you'll post what you're making with our glass. Um, we always have our Facebook page which has our, any updates of new products. And we have our newsletter you can sign up to. That comes about once a week. We try not to send it more than that because we know people don't want to be inundated with um, letters. Um, we sort of emails and we have our, um, you can subscribe on YouTube, turn on notifications, all sorts of ways you can keep up to date what we're doing here at Tabitha's Glass Emporium. And we hope we, you like what we're doing, we're really enjoying our jewellery month um, and we look forward to seeing you next time.